Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for February. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up for the sign of Taurus. February. Keep in mind that this may not resonate right now. It may resonate later. It may resonate at the end of February. It may resonate at the very beginning. Or it could resonate right now when you watch it. Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? <laughs> well, February. There could be some bitterness going on here. Could be some some uh resent. About a commitment. Somebody may have given up, you know, they're not apologizing, they're not coming forward with anything, they're not focused. You could, you could have, ties could have been severed with somebody who, you know, had a wandering eye. Somebody that didn't have any ability or didn't have any desire to follow through with what they promised. And, you know, that causes a bit of uh, anger, <laughs> right? When people don't follow through, when they, when they tell you something and they don't follow through, that certainly piss you off. Anyway, um, yeah, it's like somebody, I thought you were going to put in effort. I thought we were going to work together. And somebody didn't follow through. Anyway, you may have been committed to, committed to it. We're going to get a bunch more cards. But, you know, this is upright is good. Because maybe you're, maybe, you know, there is some happiness that's going to come out of this. You're probably going to follow a new plan, come up with a new plan of some sort. But anyway, that's that's uh, uh, independence. You're on your own, honey. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're on your own. And this is independence as well. You may, somebody may have cut you out or you may have cut them out. And maybe you're going through a period of, you know working on you. I'm just working on me. I'm working on healing from this bitterness I got buried inside of me. Right? I don't have any desire to start anything new with anybody else right now because it's all about me. Right? Um, yeah. Yeah. You may be feeling a little ungrounded. Maybe you're feeling stubborn and not willing to offer anything to anybody. It's like I don't have anything to offer you. It's mine. I'm holding on to my own right now. Working on myself because right now I'm not where I need to be. So I feel like right now during February you may be, you know, maybe somebody wants to commit to you and you're like not seeing it. You're like, no. Somebody does want to work with you. This is working together and this is somebody like wanting to hold your hand. And maybe you're just not seeing it as a valid opportunity. You're, you're trying to protect yourself. You really like your independence. You know, you're, you're doing quite well on your own. Now you got somebody who wants a commitment. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, is it another Taurus Virgo Capricorn? Is it? Is it? Somebody wants a commitment. Somebody has something solid to offer you, and you're, like, in denial over it. It's like, uh... I'm so good on my own, you know, I'm still dealing with the past hurts, I'm not quite over it. You may be using that as a crutch, right, to protect yourself. I'm still not over the past. I'm still not over the past, right? I'm not over the past. And maybe it's not a crutch, maybe it's the truth. You know, you dealt with somebody that didn't follow through, that didn't, they, they promised you something solid and they didn't follow through and now you're like, I'm protecting myself there, buddy. Anyhow, um, yeah, you're, it is. I think that you, you're like... You may be, this is a, this is an independent woman, this is an independent woman as well. 
So you may be like, I just need to work on my independence right now. And this could be a male or a female, but anyway, you're in this. Anyway, somebody is working on their own abundance and it's like they have this opportunity for a commitment and it's like, eh, somebody wants to work with you and you're like, eh. I'm not sure I can even focus on this. I'm not sure that I even ha I can concentrate on this right now. First of all, I, I got to work and I got, I got a job to take care of. And I'm really good on my own. I'm really enjoying my life. And the past is still pretty... Um, the memories of the past. Somebody is protecting themselves. This is protecting because of the memories of the past. I'm better off on my own. I'm still bitter over the past. Still bitter over the past. Okay. But now we got this person here who's like, hey, look what I got, baby. It's a golden opportunity. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want this golden opportunity? And you're like, I got my own opportunity. What the hell are you talking about? I'm happy. I'm happy. But yeah, I do want a partnership. I do want a partnership. And I can understand that you're my perfect match. You really are my perfect match. I know that. But, you know, I'm still healing. I'm still evolving. You know, I'm healing. And I'm not sure I'm ready for this change. And this is an opportunity to change, okay? This is turning silver into gold. Getting the gold, okay? Getting the, the blessing that you deserve. This really is a blessing, okay? It's like... You have an opportunity to let go of the past... And accept a new opportunity, but you're going to have to accept change and you're going to have to allow. Allow yourself to receive this big, huge opportunity. You're not the same person you used to be. You're not. You've done a lot of healing, even though there's still some bitterness. You've done a lot of healing. And perhaps right now you're at peace, right? You're at peace in your life. You're feeling very peaceful with... The transition that you have been through with with everything it is this is peaceful this person sees whoever this person is it could be any sign but this is taurus virgo capricorn and this is taurus virgo capricorn this person sees that right now the time right now they would like to come together with you you know they they see that they see that you are they think put it that way that you are ready they think that right now is the time to make this offer. You know, they think that you guys can come together and they think that, you know, they may think that your marriage material, son of a gun. They may think that you're all healed. But this Two of Swords reversed says, you know, delays. You may want, you're trying to delay. I think you're trying to you hold this person back because you're still heal, healing, you know. You're at peace with who you're at, where you're at. You really are. You have done a lot of inner work. You've transitioned. You have in a big, big, big way. But there's still memories of the past and it's, you're trying to delay this person because I think you're afraid to get hurt again. Afraid to get hurt again. Um, yeah. Definitely thinking negatively. There's an opportunity for a lot of happiness here. But it's like you're not, you're, you're pushing it away. You're pushing away happiness. Because it's so risky. It is risky. It's a gamble. You were left out in the cold before, right? You were left out in the cold. Do you dare to take this risk? Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's been lies. There's been deception. There were so many secrets. There was. With this person that, you know, didn't follow through. I don't know if this is the same person. What is this moon? We're going to clarify this moon. Oh, God. Somebody may be coming. Somebody is definitely coming in with an offer. That's the Ace of Cups.
No closure. So there's unfinished business. There's unfinished business with somebody from your past. Oh, bastard. And maybe that's why you're pushing this person away. I don't know who this Queen of Wands is, but... It could be a Sagittarius. It could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Whoever this person is. Doesn't have a lot of drive and ambition. No spark. Painful. Oh, God. Grieving. Sadness. I feel like right now, I feel like right now you may, you may receive some sort of offer from somebody that you have unfinished business with. This person may have hurt you, involved another person. Now they've changed or they say they've changed. And they have an opportunity for you. But you have you have an opportunity. How many opportunities we got here? This is something you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for something. And it's like the waiting is over. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have two options. I know that you do. I feel it heavily that you have two options. And you're going to have to make a choice as to which one you want to give your offer to. Which one you want to commit to. If you even want a commitment at all. Because I see that you're very happy with your independence. You're very focused. You're focused on your career. You're focused on your business. You're focused on... It looks like everything but love. And that is exactly the way that it happens. Okay? You're focused on yourself. You're doing great. You've done a lot of healing. You've transformed. Whatever. The whole nine yards. And you got some unfinished business here. With somebody from your past. I mean, I can't... I can't make that up. I'd like to. I'd like to say that I could, but I can't. Unfinished business with somebody from your past that needs to be healed. Okay, it needs to be healed. Whether I don't know how you're gonna heal it, but um, we're gonna try to figure that one out. Anyway, there is um, this is something you have been waiting for. You have been waiting for. Somebody to come with that big ass apology. In the meantime, you have options. You absolutely do have options. This person up here that didn't act, they've been hiding their true feelings. They've been hiding, but they have. But they love you. And they want to come back. Mmm. And now you have to make a choice. Oh, God. Why is this the case? Now, yeah, somebody's coming with an apology or an offer. Some sort of gift. Somebody is going to be coming with something. They have planned it. It's going to be something solid. It's going to be something long-term. Whether this is somebody new or somebody from your past, I think it's you're going to have two offers, okay? I do feel that way, and I think that whoever, somebody has a big, big, big opportunity for you, and it's, it's genuine. It's a genuine offer, and this is a test. You're going to have to pass some sort of test as to whether you want to go back, whether you want to go back to this person that hurt you, involved in another third-party situation, or what. You know, you're going to have to open your heart and follow your intuition on this one. Just follow your intuition. What does your heart want? What does your heart want? What does your heart want? Somebody's coming with an offer of love because they care for you. They really care for you. This is absolutely something you've been waiting for and the waiting is over. 
The waiting is over. This is the answer to your prayers. With these threes, it is. Oh, my God. Oh, geez. So, yeah, there's an opportunity for a partnership here that you have waited for. You have waited for this. You have waited for this. And you're going to have to pay, pass some sort of test. I have one test card and this is it. As to which one. <laughs> which one? Which one? Which one? we got to get another card here. Um, oh, it's up to you. It's your choice. It's your choice. You're going to have to make a really difficult choice here. For, this is past or present. Okay? Son of a bitch. I'm sorry to swear, but I can't help myself at this point. Um, there's, there's like indecisiveness. You're going to be very indecisive as to which one to choose. So yeah, you're going to have to make a choice in love. We have, we have an opportunity for uh, a connection here with somebody that you have waited for. It could be with a Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So anybody, it could be anybody. Somebody involved, another person, caused a lot of pain. Now they want to come back. Because there's unfinished business. There is unfinished business. And there's an opportunity to come together and have a partnership. And you're going to have to choose between two paths. There's no doubt. And you're going to have to use your intuition to get the answer. Which one wants to get married? <laughs> This is a marriage. Which one will marry you? If that's what you want. You are the Hierophant, which is a symbol of marriage, so I find it hard to believe that you guys don't want marriage. But somebody has been deceived by another person, so it might be like, you know, I don't, I don't know if I can ever trust again. Tower, of course, the tower. I don't know if this was upright or not. I just picked it up, so we're just going to leave it. There's going to be a rude awakening here. There's going to be some upheaval. There's going to be a huge change. Something is going to happen that changes everything. It can't be avoided. It needs to be dealt with. Whatever this is, it's, 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 it's the, uh, it's time to build a new foundation, period. You have an opportunity for a partnership with somebody that is probably not your usual type. But they're going to hold your hand and they're not going to let it go, Right? It's going to be comfortable. You're just going to have to pass some sort of test. Which one is the most practical decision? Somebody's made a lot of changes. It could be this person because the past is right next to it. The past may have changed. I, tigers don't usually change their stripes but hey this says somebody has changed the temperance card next to that six of cups says somebody has changed maybe this person's gotten real you know maybe they've gotten their tower moment maybe they've gotten their wake-up call maybe they've been stabbed by this other person who <laughs> whatever whatever that's the way the cookie crum crumbles right Anyway, somebody wants to commit to you, and it, it's like you're gonna, it seems almost like you're gonna push them away, like you're trying to push them away. But your heart wants it. Your heart wants it. So, good luck, Taurus. Um, we're gonna get one of these. 
You're going to definitely, this is a decision about love, no doubt. You have, you're going to have to choose between two. I don't know about the rest of you, but I ain't getting any younger. And uh, that's the truth. Protected by angels. I already knew that. I did. That's funny. Cherished. You are cherished by angels. It's the truth. I, they're all, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I can't, it's hard for me to speak because I already, it's funny. Angels are my guides, okay? They're my parents. You are cherished by angels. You are blessed. Immense blessings from above are showering over your life. Their angelic realm is only a thought away. Angelic intervention is available to you at all times. Simply be open and you will feel their presence. This is the time to spread your wings and soar. You are so protected and so safe. Sometimes it might seem that you can't see the road ahead but have faith that by your side are shimmering angels supporting and guiding you in unseen ways. It's the truth. Watch for their signs, especially in the form of feathers. There is a sacred plan for your life. Your life is guided. Their angelic message is that you are going in the right direction and everything is unfolding exactly as it should be. When you receive this card, it can also mean that you are... <laughs> I've never had this card. When you receive this card, it can also mean that you are an angelic healing force for others. Because the light within you is so bright. And that's what I have, Taurus. And all I can say is a thank you. <laughs>